Nine. Ham Marhold. Although modestly and philosophically worded, man is the new god of philosophy. Not surprisingly, politics in the modern world has increasingly assumed a messianic character. In Doc Hammershold, late Secretary General of the United Nations, this messianic note came prominently to the fore after his death and was duly commended. Hammershold, died 1961, was a homosexual. He may have been responsible for his plane's crash by a suicidal urge. For Hammershold, as a modern man, Life was meaningless. What I ask for is absurd that life should have a meaning. It was therefore necessary for him to provide the meaning. You are your own God. Hammarhold cited scripture extensively in terms of this identification of himself with God. Not I, but God in me. It should be noted that he recognised no God out there, no God beyond himself, in a famous and central passage, Hammarhold wrote, Your responsibility is indeed terrifying. If you feel it is God, thanks to your having betrayed him, who will fail mankind, you fancy you can be responsible to God. Can you carry the responsibility for God? He spoke of the holiness of human life before which we bow down in worship. Hammarhold's faith was existential. His modern-day prophet was Martin Buber, whose book I and Thou expressed almost his own view. Goldman felt that Hammerhold confused himself with God, but gave the markings on the whole a friendly review, as did most reviewers. One of the harshest criticisms came from a man who said, Is Christ is not Christianity's saviour, the son of man who died for our sins, but rather a brother who had gone ahead of Hammershold along the same path. This same critic, Bartels, said that Hammershold saw himself as a saviour figure who desired to sacrifice himself for mankind through death. Norden's study documented this latter charge. In the face of Hammershold's statements in Markings, which records his views up to the time of his death, as associate of Billy Graham assured the world that Hammerhold was a Christian. Writing a review of Henry P. Van Dusen's Doc Hammerhold, The Statesman and His Faith, 1967, Vert declared, This is a moving book about a great spirit of our time. As far as I know, only one man was fully aware of Doc Hammerhold's secret faith before the appearance of this spiritual diary he kept for thirty years. That man was Billy Graham. The evangelist had learned in private conversation what none of the personnel of the United Nations Secretariat, over which Hammerhold presided for nearly a decade, had apparently discovered that the lonely Swede had a strong personal faith in Jesus Christ as Saviour and Lord. This fact was brought out in Graham's statements at the time of the African plane tragedy, when the evangelist's tribute, unlike others from around the world, referred to Hammerhold's deep devotion to Christ. With these words, we conclude our analysis of the war against the beyond. As Wirt's word make clear, it is also a war against truth and against meaning. This is the way the world goes, both with a bang and a whimper. <laughs>